What the? Oh, hey Erica, what's up? Weirdo. Welcome to Ranch Fest Garage. My name is Brian, and today we're gonna to be working on the dead side crew cab. Today what we're gonna to try to accomplish is getting the body mounted to the frame. So let's get started. several things that need to be considered when doing a frame swap or body swap, however you want to look at it. This is a 99 frame and this is a 79 body. So they were never ever meant to go together. Probably the first thing you need to worry about is where the tires or the axles are gonna sit in the wheel wells. Uh, wheel base, you don't want that, the tire to sit clear back in the wheel well. So that's the first thing to consider. So we kind of lucked out on this one and I think it's gonna be super close. If your wheels and tires don't line up in your wheel wells, there's a few different ways you can fix it. One, you can shorten and or lengthen the frame or you could possibly just move the axle back and forth. This particular frame is pretty straight all the way back. It was meant for a flatbed. So if you needed to move this rear axle back or forth a few inches, it could be done without doing any modifications to the frame. The second thing that needs to be considered is how the engine is gonna fit in the engine compartment. If it's too far forward, it's gonna hit the radiator, the fan will hit the radiator. If it's too far back, it's gonna hit the firewall on the cab. So it's crucial to get this in there right. This motor, the six cylinder Cummins, is a long motor, so there's not a lot of back and forth room. So on this particular one, we want that motor sitting as far back towards the cab as we can possibly get it. That way, hopefully, we'll have room up here for the radiator and the intercooler. You can see we have a clearance issue here. The exhaust manifold is hitting the cab. So we need to clearance this so we can get the cab as close to the motor as possible. The next thing that needs to be considered is the height of the body versus the frame. The higher you get it up, the more clearance problems it's likely going to solve. But if you get it up too high, then it's gonna not look right. You don't want too much frame exposed. So there is a happy medium in there and you just gotta figure it out. Possibly the last thing to be considered is getting the body level and square with the frame. So I've got this string strung from front to back. So I want the bed and the body to line up about as perfect as I can. I think I'm gonna start with the bed just because the frame's level and I think it'll be easier to get the bed level with the frame. And then I'm just gonna work my way forward, trying to get the cab and everything level and kind of looking like the bed looks nice and level. As you can see, we got the body just sitting on the frame. It is literally sitting on wood blocks to try to figure out height wise, kind of where it's gonna sit. So we got to figure that out, get everything exactly where I want it and then we'll start doing like real metal um, welding, stuff like that to get it permanently mounted. But for now, we're just using wood blocks to figure this stuff out, because it's cheap. These are the original cab mounts that I cut off of the 99 F450 frame. I'm gonna try to reuse them on the 79 cab, so we'll just see how that goes. I moved the cab forward as far as it can go. Now I need to move the bed forward to match it. I'm gonna use these ratchet straps underneath just kind of slowly ratchet it forward and then we'll see how it lines up in the wheel wells. Way too much strap. I'm just hoping I can strap right here. Oh, that's probably not gonna work, baby. Oh, would you look at that. Just look at that. You're real close now. You're like a centimeter. <laughs> oh. Too close. How's that look in the wheel well? Um, too close, too far, we get too much? I'd say it's pretty close. Yeah. I'd say it needs to come more forward, but you don't have that. Well, the problem is too, is that the, the bed is a little bit messed up back here. So it kind of gives the illusion that it's got more room here. See, this is all like folded back. <laughs> Yeah. Was well, the other side like that too? No, the other side's good. Well, you could probably line it up using the other side. But the problem is you can't stand back and look at this side. 
but really you could take like a measuring tape find out exactly where the center is put a marker there and then line it up at the center of the wheel well it's kind of kind of be what it's going to kind of be because the wheel wells go like they kind of flare out like that you know so it's hard to say what center is yeah because it's not like a half circle but it's i, I kind of like where it's sitting because that that looks like it could be pretty centered in the wheel well. You can't really go too much further forward. I gotta figure out how to walk into this. I actually gotta go back. And we are not even remotely square, but we knew that. Okay, a few more fine tuned adjustments. I'm gonna move some blocks. We got the bed as far forward, possibly too far forward right now. But what I'm looking at here is the back of the frame. The back of the frame is going to stick out a little bit past the bed, which I can fix all that by possibly a custom bumper, which I was planning on doing anyway. It's not far off. It's not going to look too weird. And actually all this um, from here back is going to disappear. This was off the old flat bed. Um, super heavy duty hitch, but I don't know, maybe I'll leave it if I can kind of build a bumper around it. Thing ain't going nowhere easily, that's for sure. So, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, that's the end of the frame right there. So we're not, we're not too bad shape. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, you let me go too far forward. I was paying attention to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> that's the important part. Okay, so what do I gotta do now, Erica? I gotta get some blocks. I'm gonna change my blocks up a little bit, see if I can get in a better spot. I think I'm gonna move them back. So this side here, like it is dented really bad right there and that's where the cab mounts. The frame's dented? Well, the the bottom of the bed where it mounts. So it's got oh. these braces that go across. And so I need to move back here to see if I can... I don't know if I'm strong enough to do that. Don't kick me. me down Clark. I am strong did you see that yeah <laughs> okay we gotta do that again right here we're gonna slide these back uh, maybe I'm not as strong as I think I am I like that. Strongest old man I ever saw. <laughs> the only problem is, is we gotta figure out. Hey, I think you moved the bed when you did that. Looks <laughs> a lot better now. That's it. We all lined up now? It's perfect. It's probably perfect now. Uh, I don't think we're quite square yet, but yeah, let's take a look at it. I am not off much. I just need to go this way just a little bit. Yeah, that's actually pretty close. I think I'm gonna mess with the back. Yeah, I think that looks... I could go forward a little bit, could go back a little bit, but it looks pretty good. I agree. Okay. I would say go forward a bit, but that might not be an option. I uh, got to get tape measure, and I got to figure out height-wise where this thing's sitting level on the frame. Before I do that, I gotta get a drink of McAdoo. So the frame on the old Ford, it kind of comes back and then it humps up a little bit up over the tires and then it goes back kind of flat. But I think the back is about a half inch taller than the front. So I guess my point is, is all the mounts on this bed are just a little bit different height wise. So I got to figure out that out so I can get this sitting level on the frame. Cause this frame is just perfectly straight and level all the way back. This side is pretty stinking close. I think I gotta come this way with it a little bit. That might have got me my quarter inch right there. I just walked around talking to myself pretty much at this point. Yep. That's what you do in every video. I like it. That is crazy level right there. There we go, okay. That 
Let's see what the other side looks like. Most of the problem is like we're dealing with stuff, stuff like that. You know, is your garage floor level? <laughs> okay, so that says point, well, point two, so it's close. Your level level? Level level. So I get a hump in the middle of that bed. So you can see it there. So the bed just depends on where you take the, the level from. That's point one. That's as perfect as that's gonna get. So let's set it on the bottom of the frame. What the hell is going on? Did you see that? Perfect. That's perfect. Well, point one. Oh no. Uh, Why did change? We gotta start over. Oh, point one's not enough to worry about. Oh, it's not sitting level on the frame. I got like a rivet that's sitting on back here. So let's set it on the rivet. You can see, huh, I can still live with that though. I wonder if that thing is automatically zeroing. You know how to use it? Nope. Is that point four of a degree? Yeah, point four degrees. That's nothing, man. So I think we're pretty close for what this is. <laughs> so if you stand back, and look at the string. The string is higher up here, so the cab, basically the front of the cab needs to come up and make this look right. So the front of the cab has to go up. Not like yay. Yeah, the front of the cab's down about, and so is the back of the cab. So everything's gotta come up on the cab, which is kinda good. And obviously it's not square. If you look down here, the cab needs to go this way. I think the bed's on there pretty close. It's not perfect yet, but it's pretty close. So now we gotta work on the cab, getting it um, square, leveled, and most importantly, you gotta make my body lines line up. If these lines line up, it looks good. If they don't line up, it looks like crap. Everything's looking really good right now. The wheel wells are lining up good with the tires. Um, I'm just deciding whether the bed needs to go down half an inch or if the cab needs to come up half an inch. The front of the cab definitely needs to come up like an inch, but the cab is sitting in a good spot right now. It's not hitting anything other than the exhaust, but that's not a height issue. That's just a firewall clearance issue. So. I'm just kind of standing back, looking at it, trying to decide which route I want to go, what's going to be the easiest. Pretty close to half inch. This side actually looks a little closer, but I'd say probably three eighths. We're going to do the right thing and string a line on the other side of the truck and make sure both, light, both sides are lining up at the same time. Well, according to this side, can you, can you shoot that door? Looks like. It's, a, it's way different on this side than on the other side. Yeah, it looks a little different. So I don't know if that's cab or bed, but it's possible it's cab because it's just sitting on blocks like willy nilly, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's no rhyme or reason to it. Probably the string is our best tool here. So it looks like the back's got to come up a little bit and the front's got to come up a lot. So that is different from the other side, obviously. This side's sitting lower, that side's sitting higher. But what are we gonna do? Okay, that's gotta come up. Okay, that explains that. All right, since I've got this mounted with blocks, just blocks of wood, two before stacked up, kinda not sitting perfect. So I'm trying to get everything the same height. Basically, try to level out the cab as best I can. See what it's gonna look like. But I'm not strong enough to lift this cab. We'll go off the bolts, the mounting bolts. This side is two and three quarters. And this side is probably three quarters. And it's probably, yeah, it's an inch. So yeah, it's gotta go this way a mile. Man, how'd I get that so far off? It's gotta go passenger side. Yeah. Passenger. What does the, this say? Oh yeah, that's what that says too. Okay, so I gotta find my pry bar and another little chunk of wood. I'm gonna cut some pieces of this wood so I got something to pry against the frame so I don't scratch the frame. And I may be needing these to raise the cab up a little bit more. I don't know, but I'm gonna make a few more pieces.
I can't tell exactly. But that's closer than it was. Okay, so that's somewhere in the inch and three quarters neighborhood. And so is that one. Okay, so that squared it up. We need to, this side need to go up to match the bed. So I'm gonna put jack and a block of wood there. We're gonna try to get this side up just a little bit to match the other side. This is not safe. Do not try this at home. Do not put your fingers anywhere. Don't they'll get smashed like I'm about to. Okay, that kind of matches the other side. We're closer, we're straighter. Everything's looking really good right now. The bed is about a half inch taller than the cab on the front. When I space this up, I need to use just metal and I wanna do it in half inch increments because that's how they sell metal. So for instance, I need a three inch piece for the front and for the back, I'm gonna need like a two and a half inch piece, something like that. So that's how I'm trying to keep it. The cab doesn't matter so much because I can weld the mounts on wherever I need to. So the bed, Kind of right now is more important to get that and then match the cab to the bed. So yeah, that's what we're working on. It's starting to look pretty good. So we'll continue on. This, like this, it looks like it's sitting like this. But that's more, a little bit of the cab, but way more the bed. Let's see what the other side looks like. All right, it's kind of the same deal over here. The bed's a little high on the front and the cab looks pretty stinking close. I wonder if we're at that point we need to put the front clip on to see how that's going to fit. Because if that don't fit right, it's all for naught. But it's going to make it harder to move too. We got everything lined up pretty close. We still need to throw the front clip on and just make sure that everything's going to look good that way. clearance here for exhaust and we may not have to notch that out. I think that I don't hate it. I think it looks pretty good. Remember that dead side that went for auction for like 200000 and the like rear tire well like didn't align with the tire? I think this looks aligns a lot better than that did. Yeah, yeah I'm not even sure I'm going to cut that firewall out now. Like I got <laughs> a solid quarter inch back there so you know that should be fine. But I'm sure if I do like change it, I'll wait till I got the carpet and everything else in it. So, so it's extra hard. So it's extra hard. Burn, burn some holes in the carpet and stuff. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be great. But yeah, everything clears. Everything looks good. I'm pretty happy with it. Kind of like the way it's fitting. So yeah. I thought I had the bed sitting a little bit better, but I'm a half inch lower on the back than I am on the front. So I need to correct that before we continue on. We're just dialing this in right now, just putting half inch shims, 5.8 shims here and there. Um, we're really super close. I just think this back corner of the cab needs to go up a little bit and then we'll have it. Looks like a mile too high now. Settles in. Oh yeah. Still just a too high. Yeah, yeah, it's too high. Too high. See that gap? Not quite lining up. I don't know. I need something between that, like a quarter inch. 
Let me see if I can cut my quarter inch. She will see how that works out. Got your quarter inch. We'll see. I mean, we're not building a grand piano here, but you'd think we was. Is that down all the way? Yep. I like it. That looks pretty good. Maybe not totally perfect, but I don't know if you could get much better than that. The top lines up pretty good, but the bottom don't. But I think your eyes are gonna be more focused on the top line than the bottom line. And we yeah. look pretty level all the way across. So I think we're gonna start figuring out mounts now. Is that, that's how you want to sit, like that. That's how, that's how she's gonna go. That's how she's gonna look. <laughs> that's it. There you go. It could come forward a little bit, but I really don't want to push it. I almost think that we're pushing a little bit too far. I think this axle is sitting a little bit too far back as it is, but actually it's about perfect. So if I come forward any, it's going to mess that up. I got clearance on the firewall, so everything. So are you thinking you're going to push the axle forward a little no, bit? No, I think it's good. It like I mean, it I could. What about I, the back? Are you going to move the axles at all? No, I think they're good. I think everything's good enough. Yeah, I think that went pretty smooth. So now we just gotta figure out how to get those on. Basically the rear cab mounts are about two inches away from the frame. So they're gonna be sitting about right here, right snug. But I think there's enough height wise that uh, this will kind of come up over top of the frame, this part here. So this, I need to cut this, make sure that this distance is good here, and then clean it up and weld it to the frame. Mount her up, should be good. Yeah, pretty close. Somewhere between, let's call it inch and seven eighths. Let me cut this other side. Yeah, I was gonna call it inch and seven eighths. Yeah, that will fit, but that, is that gonna hit? We got clearance, just not a shit to them. I have to trim that. All right, so that would work good. Put good good in the back. Is that a front mount? No, I think it's a back mount. This is how it actually was, it's right here. These are the bolts for the cab mounts, I think. And all four of them are different. Not sure how any of that works. Whatever. That's really weird, because they were like the actual bolts that were in there holding it together, right? Right. Yeah, these are factory bolts for sure. Yeah, I think this one will work fine for a rear mount. Actually, it worked really well. Same, I think. Close-ish. So we just gotta cut a mile off these. And we'll have to completely modify these to make them work for a front mount. I'm gonna clean up this mount so we can make a mark so we know where to cut. Mark's gonna be something like that. It's gonna be real close to this mount right here. I'm not sure how Ford has built these, but I don't know if it's glued on there or welded on there or what, but uh, it would be good if we could pull this off so we don't melt it while we're cutting and welding on it and all that fun stuff. So that's 13 sixteenths. Okay. Build the truck, they say. It'll be fun, they say. And there are just absolutely no measuring points whatsoever. So there's no good way to do this. Uh, I crowded it the best I can. Put the tape measure on it six different ways and we're just gonna go for it. If it's off a little bit, it'll still work just fine. I hope. Do it. It's on. You think it's gonna work? I hope so. All right, let's see how bad I screwed up. One thing I don't like about this is I'm not gonna have a whole lot to weld to, so I'm probably gonna have to build something up on the frame, basically goes that way and connects the frame, which isn't a big deal. Probably have to wait till the bed's off to weld it, but 
yeah that's gonna work out good enough got the mounts built ready to go on the truck i need to grind off my brand new paint job to get these to weld but i knew that was gonna happen but we'll repaint it not a big deal we'll touch it up there was a lot of rubberized undercoating on these which i assume that ford put on from the factory so anyway ready to go here we go <laughs> So I got to see if I got a bit this big so I can uh, expand the hole that's existing in the cab. So we'll see what we got. Just think of all the wonderful races and people and things I see. Hey guys, pretty much. <laughs> Still. <laughs> got the mounts all bolted to the cab so I double checked the measurements on everything so we're gonna go ahead and tack these in and uh, go from there I got the rear cab mounts all done and tacked in so now we're gonna go to working on the front cab mounts so what's really cool is because everything's kind of lining up, we don't have to lengthen or shorten the drive line, so that will also save time and money, like quite a bit of money. But if you had to have both drive lines made from scratch, you'd probably be about two grand. Fifteen hundred dollars, two grand, whoever does it. If you had to have them shorten or lengthen, shorten's the cheapest route to go because they cut it out, they re-weld it, they balance it, and you're good to go. Uh, I don't know what that cost, but uh, fortunately we don't have to do any of that. I think so far it's like everything's just going to fit, everything's going to work, so pretty, pretty happy with it so far. I'm short. That's what the problem is. It's got to go something like that. So we got to add to that. The problem we're going to run in today is I don't think I got the correct bolts for this. So here's the plan. I need to uh, make these a little bit longer. These are the pieces that I cut off of the rear cab mounts. So I think this will work great for the front cab mount because it'll do two things. It'll give me more surface weld to the frame because that's quite a bit bigger and it'll take care of that gap between the frame and then I can basically kind of weld these where I want and then I can adjust them back and forth a little bit like that and then just go ahead and weld right around here to make these work. So I think these are going to work pretty good. So you're using the pieces you cut off the other mounts and you're going to put them on these mounts. Yeah. That same bolt that came off the rear, still it off Eddie. And you don't need all this cabinets. Still it off the truck that you, that I drive every you day. drive every day. My daily driver. That seems like a good idea. I don't know why that wouldn't be, be good. I don't know, one bolt's not a big deal, right? It's just one bolt. The problem I'm running into right now is these are metric bolts and I don't have any. And I'm about 20 miles away from the nearest hardware store and it's Sunday and everything's closed. So we're basically out of luck. I think what I'll do for a temporary solution is cut these bolts, cut this out of it because I need it shorter. And then I'll just weld the head back on down here. And that's what we we'll use today just for mock-up purposes. These won't be the real deal things here. So that's what we'll try. That's about all we're gonna get done for the day. I'm super happy the way this is turning out. It's fitting great. We got the cab mounts done. Still got a few more mounts up front to do, but I'm kind of out of parts and stuff. So we'll continue this on another video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.